Jones Fracture Position the patient in a semilateral position, utilizing a beanbag body positioner. The patient should be moved to the distal end of the bed and the operative leg draped free as the side up. Exertion of the operative limb should be checked prior to prep and drape to confirm that the operative limb can be positioned on the mini C-arm during surgery. The base of the fifth metatarsal is outlined, including the insertions of the peroneus brevis and tertius tendons. A small incision is made at the base of the fifth metatarsal at the intersection of the peroneus brevis and tertius tendons. Care is made to identify and protect the sural nerve branches which run over the perineal tendons. A mini Homan retractor is placed on the plantar aspect of the fifth metatarsal to deliver the base into the appropriate position. The surgeon's fingers can then be used to reduce the fifth metatarsal fracture by placing them in between the fourth and fifth metatarsals and applying pressure. An appropriately sized guide wire is inserted from the base of the fifth metatarsal into the central portion of the metatarsal shaft. It is maintained within the intermedullary canal in order to avoid distal penetration. Confirm placement with fluoroscopy. The pin placement can be adjusted as necessary until the optimum position is obtained. Using the cannulated depth gauge, depth is measured from the exposed portion of the guide wire by reading the line on the scale. In order to account for countersinking and fracture compression, a screw that measures 4 to 5 millimeters shorter than the measured total depth is selected. After selecting the appropriate size, advance the guide wire approximately 5 millimeters to maintain distal pin fixation before drilling. Caution must be taken not to compromise any distal joint surfaces when advancing the guide wire. Place the soft tissue guide over the guide wire and drill the near cortex using the appropriate cannulated profile drill. Leaving the soft tissue guide in place, drill into the far fragment with the appropriate cannulated long drill to the appropriate depth. Reference the markings on the drill to confirm desired depth. Place the appropriate sized cannulated screw over the guide wire. Engage the ratchet driver to the back end of the screw. The screw is then inserted with clockwise rotations under fluoroscopic guidance until the appropriate depth is achieved.